liebe Logo-Anwender. Dear Logo Users, the Logo Program usually inverts digital signals using the function block NOT. However, there is a much more elegant solution you can use. In this example, you see input I3 being inverted using a NOT function block. I get the same result, for example for input 4, by selecting the input pin of the AND block by right-clicking. The box that opens here allows me to invert the input. This is indicated by a black dot directly at the input. I can get the same result by double-clicking the input pin. The best thing about this method of inverting directly at the digital input is that I save one program block of storage capacity in the program memory. Can we always use this method? I cannot invert directly at the input pin for the flag function block and for digital outputs. In these cases, I have to insert the NOT function block. When is it best to use that? There are lots of function blocks I have to activate. If I want these permanently activated, then I will generally have to use an input function block high. I can get the same result as shown here if I simply negate the enable pin. That will leave the function block permanently activated. Here we also see that I can't negate the input for markers like background lighting controls. Instead, I will have to set the function block to 1 to make it permanent. So you see that negating the inputs directly at the function block can help make the program easier to handle and can even, in some cases, save some program memory. Logo. Simply ingenious, simply more.